வெல்கம் டு த ஆன்லைன் ஸ்போக்கன் எஃப்டிபி ஆன் அட்வான்ஸ்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் லெபார்டரி எக்ஸ்பிரிமெண்ட் நம்பர் லெவன் செஷன் டூ டுடேஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரிமெண்ட் இஸ் ஆன் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் கன் டயோட் ஆசிலேட்டர் அவர் மெயின் எய்ம் அண்ட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் டு ஸ்டடி த கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் கன் ஆசிலேட்டர் அண்ட் டு டிட்டர்மைன் த த்ரெஷோல்ட் வோல்டேஜ் த அப்பார்டர்ஸ் ரெக்யர்ட் ஆர் கன் பவர் சப்ளை கன் ஆசிலேட்டர் ஐசோலேட்டர் அட்டூனியேட்டர் டயர் டிடெக்டர் அண்ட் தென் சிஆர்ஓ த டெஸ்ட் பெஞ்ச் செட்டப் விச் இஸ் அரேஞ்ச்ட் ஃப்ரம் த லெஃப்ட் வி கேன் சி த கன் பவர் சப்ளை கன் ஆசிலேட்டர் ஐசோலேட்டர் அட்டூனியேட்டர் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி மீட்டர் அண்ட் டயர் டிடெக்டர் த டயர் டிடெக்டர் அவுட் புட் இஸ் கிவன் டு த சிஆர்ஓ Let's see one by one. So the gun power supply which have the separate on off and then we have a separate gun bias variation voltage knob and then the modulating amplitude as well as the modulating frequency. We have the meter which can be tuned from voltage to current and current to voltage knob and then we have a switch to change the mode from continuous wave to modulation the output can be taken from the gun power supply from the output knob and we have the meter which can be read at both the voltage as well as the current variation so at the top we can read the voltage variations at the bottom scale we can read the current in milliamps and then we can see the gun oscillator so this gun oscillator it can be designed by mounting the diode inside a wave guide cavity formed by a short circuit termination at one end and by an iris at the other end so the diode is mounted at the center perpendicular to the broad wall where the electric field component is maximum under the dominant te10 mode a tuning screw is inserted at the center of the broad wall for the fine frequency tuning and we have the power output range then peak power values and then frequency tuning range up to 2 percentage that can be achieved the intrinsic frequency can be calculated through the electron drift velocity to the effective length ratio next to the gun diode oscillator we have the isolator component the isolator is nothing but it is a two port device and non reciprocal which produces a minimum attenuation of the wave propagation in one direction and a very high attenuation in the opposite direction thus when inserted between a signal source and a load almost all the signal powers can be transmitted to the load and any reflected power from the load is not fed back to the generator output okay so the circulator can also be used as a isolator so the circulator is of the kind it may be a two port circulator three port circulator or a four port or it can be called as a multi port circulator so here the picture which is shown is it is a three port circulator so the three port circulator has been used as a isolator so a circulator is also a, it is a multi port junction in which the wave can travel from one port to the next immediate port in one direction only so commonly used circulators are three port as well as four port circulators uh some sort of examples are 
four port direct circulator and three port circulator so here so the port 1 to port 2 is transmitted the power maximum microwave signal is transmitted but the port 3 gets shorted or eliminated by a short so that is what here I have mentioned so a port is nothing but it is a connection point for either an input signal and output signal as well as a termination maybe of any kind and then attenuator so the attenuator is nothing but a waveguide attenuator is nothing but it is also a rectangular waveguide if we make a completely open so by adjusting the tuning screw if we make it completely open there will be a minimum attenuation so here the picture shows the variable attenuator so we can vary the attenuation level so in order to allow all the signals which is coming from the input side so we can completely if we completely open the attenuation level by tuning the knob so whenever the maximum voltage is coming the maximum current so the maximum voltage as well as the maximum current the output will be maximum okay so a waveguide attenuator is an RF device specifically designed to reduce the power of a signal without any affecting or reducing the waveform to the signal so there are uh, types of waveguide attenuators so which is listed here so low power attenuators fixed low power attenuators fixed low power precision attenuator fixed high power precision attenuator which has a optimum electrical performance at high power and continuously variable attenuator so that can be varied by the mechanical adjustment screw so which is mentioned here or it can be a dial form then frequency meter so the frequency meter it is used to measure the frequency level frequency range of a microwave signal so using the dial we have to tune it to the particular frequency range so we can calculate the exact frequency where there is a coincidence of a dipping point so there will be a fluctuation in the signal for that particular moment where the frequency get matched so it is a frequency meter so if uh, SWR meter is used as an indicator the resonance will be reflect as a decrease or some dipping in the signal level due to the storage of energy in the cavity at the resonance so using that we can find the exact frequency range then finally we have the diode director so the diode director is of the kind uh, low power Scott key diode director so which is made it possible to construct the diode with metal semiconductor junction for microwave frequencies that was very rich and coincident from diode to diode so we have uh, the diode power sensors also which is able to detect and measure the power at low as minus 70 dBm at a frequency up to 18 GHz.
So this is the apparatus setup block diagram. So as mentioned in the block, so from the gun power supply we have gun oscillator, isolator, pin modulator. So pin modulator is nothing but it is a microwave. Signal is amplitude modulated using this pin modulator. So whatever the microwave signal which is coming inside, it get amplitude modulated. Next to that, frequency meter, then variable attenuator. From that, the detector mount. If we connect to the VSWR meter, we can directly measure the VSWR value. And then we can also connect the detector mount output to the CRO also. So we can, if you want to know the VSWR range, we can connect the detector mount to the VSWR meter directly to know the VSWR value also. So we can see and elaborate about this gun diodes which is also known as transferred electron devices. So look into the first figure. So which is a multi valley conduction band energies of gallium arsenate. So this gun diode, so also known as a transferred electron devices, which are at low noise devices at a microwave frequency. Uh, there are several similar kind of diodes of N-type gallium arsenate as well as uh, P-type gallium arsenate, then indium phosphate and other few semiconductors also. So gun devices are named as diode due to the two metallic end contact as a cathode and anode in a single bulk semiconductor. So single bulk semiconductor is nothing but this n-type gallium arsenate or it may be a p-type gallium arsenate. So looking into this IV characteristics of this structure. So when a gallium arsenate sample is biased with the DC source of voltage V, the electric field is generated inside the sample with the electric current. So the graph, the typical characteristic graph of current density with the electric field of the semiconductor is shown here. So current versus voltage. So which gives the slope which is going to the peak to the maximum threshold field and then when we increase the electric field after the threshold voltage but is it is lesser than the sustain value so it is going to the peak and reducing to the lower level so there's the lower part is the sustaining value that can be mentioned as e suffix s sustainable field electric field so this slope curve is negative okay so it is going to the negative so the differential negative resistance uh, this differential negative resistance actually stated as a negative resistance of the device utilized for making the microwave oscillator. So this is what I have mentioned in this theory also. 
so now we can look into this construction of electrical equipment sorry equivalent circuit of a gun diode so let us look into this structure of of gun diode which is having metal at either ends and a cathode substrate and at in between at the mid we have the active layer n type active layer so this is the basic structure of the gun diode where we use n type gallium arsenide semiconductor with a high doping and here there is no any junction this is called as a diode with the reference to the positive end anode and negative end as a cathode the electrical equivalent circuit of the gun diode is shown here at the ball bottom so where the c and r or the diode capacitance and resistance respectively and then the r suffix s yes, which is the total resistance and c suffix p and l suffix p are the package capacitance and package inductance the negative resistance has a value that is typically lies between the range of minus 5 to minus 20 ohms so this is described here listed out in the theory also so the procedure for this experiment is listed one by one so we have to initially set the component as shown in the figure then after setting set the variable attenuator to the maximum attenuation so that the maximum amount of input signal will pass through the uh, rectangular wave gate and then keep the control knobs of the power supply in this setting if there is a pin bias knob it should be in a fully anti clockwise gun bias knob this should be fully anti clockwise if there is a meter switch it should be in the off condition and the gun bias a gun control gain control it should be in a fully clockwise the gain should be maximum so initially set the micrometer of the gun oscillator for the required frequency of operation and turn on the gun power supply so to measure the voltage and current characteristics so we have to do this following settings so the steps are to turn the meter switch of the gun power supply to the voltage position so initially we have to tune on to the voltage position and then measure the gun diode current corresponding to the various voltage controlled by the gun bias knob through the panel and the meter switch so we have to take the voltage reading and to the respective voltage reading we need to calculate the current so for calculating the current we have to tune it to the current position and we have to take the reading through the meter at the bottom scale so likewise we have to take consecutively uh, 5 to 10 readings and then we have to cal calculate the uh, voltage as well as the current values after calculating these values from the uh, gun power supply we need to plot the voltage and current reading the graph measure the threshold voltage so the threshold voltage can be measured 
for identifying the aftermarking there will be a maximum voltage for the voltage for the particular voltage value the current goes to the maximum so that is the maximum current so that point is the threshold voltage and to find the dipping frequency we we have to change the dial we have to rotate the dial very slowly if there is any variation or fluctuation in the CRO output so at that point is the dipping frequency and the frequency of the microwave signal can be calculated so important thing to be noted so do not keep gun bias knob position at a threshold for more than 10 to 15 seconds so for only or to 10 to 15 seconds only it should be in that particular threshold value because a high amount of uh, voltage will be passing through that diode so reading should be obtained as fast as possible otherwise due to excessive heating gun diode may burn okay so uh, while using this gun power supply and then gun diode we have to ensure this threshold condition also so this is a model graph if you plot the vi characteristics with the graph it will be coming like this structure so we can see so starting from the lower for every voltage value the current is keeping on increasing and it reaches the maximum that is a peak point which is mentioned as a so that point is the threshold voltage okay so that's point is the threshold voltage so after the the if we continuously increasing the voltage the current value starts decreasing okay the current value goes to the decreasing manner okay so it is called as a negative resistance right negative resistance okay so if we increase still further the current will start decreasing so the maximum voltage is vth and again it is going to repeat okay so the voltage if the voltage increases the current decreases so because of this negative differential resistance and this negative resistance is compensated by the positive of the external resonance circuit the sustainable oscillation takes place so this is how it happened continuously it reaches the maximum and then if once if it is reaching the threshold voltage it reduces it to the lower value so and then we have to increase the voltage still further so for the conventional diode current so that point is a valley point okay valley point of sustainable sustaining value sustaining value that is mentioned in the b so this is how the gun diode oscillator is going to be utilized as a continuous source of the microwave oscillation so it will be producing uh, a continuous source it will be acting as a continuous source so likewise only it, it is used okay so this is a tabulation sample tabulation values uh, gives the gun bias voltage and current so if you plot it will be uh, reaching from low to high up to 250 milliamps for 5 volt so once if we continuously increasing the gun bias voltage the current is 
reducing for the further values okay so it goes to 220 milliamps uh, this is the output power and time period calculations so the output power can be calculated by using the square wave measuring the square wave here the x position gives the amplitude and the y axis gives the pulse width of particular positive half cycle and a negative half cycle so one cyclic period or a period is nothing but the pulse width of both positive half cycle and negative half cycle okay so the output power amplitude with the time division can be noted down and then we can find the time period also from the waveform so the steps has been listed out to find the output power as well as the frequency so if you want to find the frequency as i said earlier i am going to rotate the frequency meter after setting it to the square waveform once the exact frequency if it is reached there will be a dip okay there will be a dipping the resonance will reflect as a decrease in the signal level due to the storage of energy in the cavity of the resonance so that value is taken taken as a frequency dipping frequency so using these readings we can Note it down the output power and the frequency. So the sample values of power and time period is mentioned, and the dipping frequency is up to 11.3 gigahertz for this particular experiment. Hope you all understood the characteristics of gun oscillator and how to determine the threshold voltage. Thank you.